461 and 461E Telelink Fuse, Little Fuse. Welcome to this training module on Little Fuse 461 and 461E Telelink Fuse. This training module introduces the 461 and 461E series of Telelink Fuses and provides an overview of their benefits and applications. This illustrates one telecom system and its corresponding standards. Customer Premise Equipment, or CPE, is defined as any telephone terminal equipment which resides at a customer site and is connected to the public switched telephone network, or PSTN. CPE should be protected against overvoltage that can exceed 800 volts and against surge currents up to 100 amperes. High-speed transmission equipment encompasses a broad range of transmission protocols such as T1 and E1, ADSL, ADSL2, ADSL2+, VDSL, VDSL2, and ISDN. Transmission equipment is located at the central office, customer premises, and remote locations. Transmission equipment should be protected against overvoltage that can exceed 2,500 volts and surge currents up to 500 amperes. Therefore, the proper circuit protection for telecom systems can ensure long-term operability of protected equipment and uninterrupted service during transient electrical activity. The Little Fuse Telelink Surface Mount Surge Tolerant Fuse offers overcurrent protection for telecom applications without requiring a series resistor. The Telelink is designed to carry 100% of its rated current for 4 hours and 250% of its rated current for 1 second minimum and 120 seconds maximum. The 04611.25 or 04612.00 fuse is designed to meet the 600 volt 60 amp power fault requirement of the GR1089 core standard. The Telelink is available in 0 0.5 amperes, 1.25 amperes, and 2 ampere ratings. The Little Fuse 461E Series Enhanced Telelink Surface Mount Surge Tolerant Fuse is the next generation of the 461 Telelink Fuse. With optimized opening times at certain overload conditions, this enhanced Telelink Fuse works in harmony with the Little Fuse Sidactor Transient Voltage Suppressor products in the QFN package. The enhanced Telelink is designed to carry 100% of its rated current for 4 hours, 176% of its rated current for 30 seconds, and 20% of its rated current for 1 second minimum and 60 seconds maximum. It is also designed to meet the 600 volt, 60 amp power fault requirement of the GR1089 core standard. The enhanced Telelink is available in 1.25 amp ratings. Telelink fuses were chosen because the components meet UL60950 third edition power cross requirements standalone and Telcordia GR1089 core and TIA 968-A surge immunity requirements without the use of additional series resistance. It is ideal for use in telecommunications equipment including line cards, modems, fax machines, phones, answering machines, caller ID devices, and other products connected to the telephone network. The 461E Enhanced Telelink Fuse is designed for tip and ring overcurrent protection in telecom equipment. 
It has been proven in various telecom power cross tests that 461E series opens fast enough to prevent the overvoltage protection device in the same circuit from overheating and therefore enhance the overall reliability of the circuit protection solution. The enhanced Telelink fuse is selected because the I squared T rating is sufficient to withstand the lighting immunity tests of TIA 968-A. 2.2 amp opening time is guaranteed to be within 5 seconds to ensure the fuse will open before overheating happens to the overvoltage protection device. With this optimized opening times at certain overload conditions, it works in harmony with Little Fuse's Cydactor transient voltage suppressor products. This combination provides a compliant solution for standards and recommendations such as GR1089 Core, TIA 968A, UL, EN, IEC 6950, and ITU K.20 and.20. Here is an example for a digital subscriber line access multiplexer, a DSLAM, that may experience overload, short circuit conditions, or voltage transients, lightning, lighting, ESD, or whatever else, and may require protection components to meet regulatory standards or to ensure reliable operation. A DSLAM delivers exceptionally high speed data transmission over existing telephone lines. DSL signals, approximately 28 volt max, are often superimposed over a POTS signal of approximately 270 volts max. This requires the OVP to break down above 300 volts. The Telelink fuse provides protection against power fault events, but it is specifically used not to open during induced lightning surges. This eliminates nuisance blowing while maintaining the ultimate protection needed for safety. It is also provided provides overcurrent protection. Hand soldering is not recommended for this fuse because excessive heat can affect the fuse performance. Hand soldering should be used only for rework or low volume samples. To maintain the performance of the fuses, the soldering temperature and time must be taken care of. Minimize soldering time at temperature to achieve the soldering joint. Measure the fuse resistance before and after soldering. Any fuse that shifts more than plus or minus 3% should be replaced. An increase in resistance above this amount increases the possibility of a surge failure and a decrease in resistance may cause low overhead overloads to exceed the maximum opening times. Inspect the solder joint to ensure that an adequate solder fillet has been produced without any cracks or visible defects. Here shows how the 461 and 461E series part number correspond to the nominal current rating. The 461 and 461E Telelink fuse offers overcurrent protection for a wide range of telecom applications without requiring a series resistor. They can prevent the overvoltage protection device in the same circuit from overheating and therefore enhance the overall reliability of the circuit protection solution. These products are Rojas compliant and compatible with lead-free solders. They also meet UL60950 third edition which is formerly known as UL1459 power cross requirements standalone.